Greetings in the name of the Most High Yah. It's King Yadaya, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. And I'm gonna do a trade recap on Nvidia. Well, a bunch of tickers. I was all over the place today, so we're gonna start off with Nvidia. And just for the record, even though I'm up 3R, which is 3.77R, which is almost like 4%. Um, this was bad trading. This wasn't good trading. I was, I was, I got led by the market instead of waiting for price to come to me or staying, dis staying disciplined and just avoiding this choppy market, right? So first off on Nvidia. Damn these um these alarms, man. Anyway, so went short here. Um, above S3 which is which is not the strategy I did the pre-market watch list I think uh, I believe I said you know go short on S3 the break of S3 and then the retest I'm shorting at 162 163 basically um, I was anticipating the breakdown it was looking kind of weak so jumped in here it pulled back on me had to cover well we did we did break through right but i didn't i didn't cover because i think this happened real fast I, I can't remember exactly how it played out but i didn't cover anything here i didn't take any partials right here so on this on this candle <clears throat> excuse me on this candle here we just pushed back up and i just covered and then i went over to um let's see so started off the day with a loss, then I went over to SIGA. Right, so went short on SIGA a couple of times, um, took some partials, because you can see now I'm trying, to, I'm trying to dig myself out of the hole, so I'm partial in now, right? So took the short here, added to the short, partial, partial, um, added to the short again kind of broke even that and I was I was just I think I was break even at this point right so then we went to AMD because I'm looking around for stuff now I'm trying to find I'm trying to find what could what could really um what could really get me get me going you know because at this point I think I'm break even or something like that so I think I went short let me see how this really played out I went short at 93.61 and covered at 93.95. 93.61 covered at 93.95, right? Then I went short again at 93.65 and covered at 93.48 and yeah, 93.48, that's it right there, right? So then I bought here at um, 92.47 and that pulled back on me. So that, that, that put me in the hole again, right? And let me see, what was this here? Let me see what that was. So there were two buys. See, I'm getting mixed up. This this shit happens so quick, man, and I got chopped up so much. But I know I went short here, covered here, went um went long here. This is a loss, and this oh yeah. So this was the cover for the profit, right? And went short here. So when I went short at this level, this was a partial. This was another partial. So I was I was up in this AMD trade, right? Then um, I went short here again at 91.44, and that pulled back on me. So I was still in profit. I was like up about. Let's see. That was about 1.5 hour, something like that. Right, so then I went over to NVIDIA. Right, so went back to NVIDIA, um, which was, went short here. That stopped me out. 
right went short at 164.03 that that bounced it it went into profits a little bit um on the next candle well it just bounced up you know i think i cover that s1 right there 165.47 and then i was looking at price action i was looking at it and i'm 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 in the hole a little bit no actually i'm not in the hole a little bit i was still i was down like about was yeah i think i got back to break even on this on this right here this got me back to break even right so i made a loss here lost the 1.5 hour or something like that and that put me at break even here right and I was looking at price action, looking at price action, and I saw we broke view up. And I was like, man, you know what? Let me just load the boat on this, man, because this is looking weak. You know what I'm saying? We have these push down candles here. We have this retracement, and you're not holding above view up. So I went short here, heavy size, right? This was a heavy size right here. And took that all the way down to 162.88 or something like that yeah yeah 162.88 and that that netted me my day of 3.77 r so i got chopped up i wasn't too disciplined and um it cost me some trades you know and eventually it's just it's just having the the know it all of going heavy here when i'm looking at the time and sales and i'm looking at the the level two I'm seeing we're gonna reach down right we're gonna reach down again at least well in this choppy environment it's not gonna just keep flushing down right so that's why I covered all right here because I'm seeing how price action is it it's, it's bouncing around right all these wicks and stuff like that you see on these candles it's all chop you know so if you're trying to take a take a trade anywhere anywhere at all you're probably gonna get stopped out because if you're using good risk management you're gonna get stopped out like if you went let's see let's say you went short here okay let's say you went short here right and look what it did like where's your stop loss gonna be is it gonna be above view up they're gonna clip you above view up depending on how high you go and when you come down here it just hits that level and bounces back and give you that doji so same thing here it's like where you're gonna go short at view up all right we're gonna come back and knock you out you know what i'm saying where you're gonna go you're going short again on view up all right we're gonna give you some and then we're gonna come back and knock out your stop loss so it's all chop you know what i mean and all this price action here i'm avoiding all that i don't want no parts of it you know what i'm saying because i'm already up 3.77 rm and i'm good for the day you know what i'm saying so that's it man you know you gotta you got, i gotta stay more disciplined to not put myself in these kind of recovery positions you know what i'm saying i could have been probably up like five hours today if i if i really like zoned in on what i said in my pre-market watch list it's gonna be a choppy day it's gonna i even tweeted this out you know follow me at king yeah trd on twitter and um, I'm gonna post some links in um, the description so you could follow all my um, social media and stuff like that. And yeah, man, I just gotta stay a little more disciplined. You know what I'm saying? Right now I'm on a, a green streak. I haven't, I haven't, um, I haven't lost in what is this? Like about eight days now of trading. So I know the loss is coming. So that's why I'm so kind of. I'm so jumpy, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta accept, you know, loss is part of the game and, you know, mastering yourself and your trading psychology is key in this game, you know? Because the price always does one of three things. It's gonna go down, it's gonna go up, or it's gonna move sideways. Your strategy takes care of that, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. It's your boy King Yedeya, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. And y'all trade safe and stay blessed.